Hi, this is Elisa. This is the first video in a grouping of several about saying goodbye to Blackboard. All right, so um, I've written several posts about switching over from Blackboard to WordPress to host my online courses. And uh, this is just a quick overview of the front page of a WordPress site for my students. So you can see here that I'm able to brand the class so that students will recognize um, that they are in the right spot. And I use the blog feature to provide announcements for students, as you can see here. And one of the things that I like about it that um, is an advantage over Blackboard is that um, I can embed a YouTube video. Um, I'm pretty sure I could do that in Blackboard as well. But one of the things that's cool is if a student has a question about one of my um, post my announcements, they can add a comment just quickly and um, I can then respond to that comment right away. So here you can see that a couple of students needed some clarification on uh, some of the instructions in this short post here. So they just asked a quick question and I was able to then respond because I got an email that said I had a comment on that post. So I really like that idea. One of the other things I like about it is that um, I can add video, I can also add audio. So here you can see it's very easy for me just to provide a link to a podcast and then when students come along they can click the play button and that podcast will start playing or it will download. Now I do have to remind students that they should use Firefox um, to view the site because um, some students were having trouble seeing the podcast in IE. But I write that right in the syllabus that that's what they should do. On the side, I like having a sidebar so uh, everything is not hidden like it is in Blackboard. So if they're in the announcements um, in Blackboard, they can't see anything else. But here I have the sidebar where there's links to other um, things that they can get to. For instance, the other posts, if they wanted to go back and look at any posts that I've had for Module 2. And then, of course, um, I can add an email subscription. And because this is a blog, students can subscribe to the um, announcements that I post. You can't do that in Blackboard. And then um, I've integrated Twitter and I have this the best part here. I, we use Digo in my class and students are out locating resources for us and it's nice to have this right on the front page when they add new stuff to our list or to our group and Digo they show up right here on the front page for everyone to see. Okay so it's very easy to organize your content in WordPress. As you can see here, I have a, um, a list of my assignments and a list of my papers and drop down menus. I also use modules so I can do uh, modules. We have module one, weeks one, two, three, and four, and um, I can just go through and segregate or separate the uh, weeks out by module. And that helps organize. So when students organize the course, so when students come in, they can easily choose the week that we are in and then go and see what it is that we are doing in that week. Okay. Now what I like also is on the front page um, is search. I mean how cool is it to be able to just search and find content. So you're like well I know we're supposed to have a quiz but I don't remember where the information is about the quiz. So if a student types in quiz, we'll get all the posts about the quizzes. So here you can see module two quizzes now posted. So the student can then read through and see that. And anytime I mention the word quiz, it will pop up in my search results. So I love, love, love search and the students love search. That is what they say um, right now is one of their favorite things. Now, not only can I add my own content, um, but I can also add links to outside pages. So when students go to check their grades, I have these all link to outside websites that we use and that's kind of nice and then I can also embed a calendar so that students can keep track of what um, they are responsible for for each week and it's a Google Calendar so they can just subscribe to it and add all of these things to their own calendar which is really nice I've had students comment about how much they like that okay so that's it for now with the um, saying goodbye to Blackboard and that's just a quick overview of the front page of my WordPress site for my English 102 online course